Eastlake, it's good to see ya. Kinda. Well, hopefully it's good to see me. We hope you had an eventful quarantine and dominated online school and are looking forward to this summer. Not exactly how I picture saying goodbye to Eastlake in this school year, but as tradition, the moving up assembly must go on. Without further ado, here's the end of the year video recapping this bizarre year made by the one and only Nico Karsky. Whoop whoop! My first kiss was everything Everyone thought I was king I didn't know what life would bring But nothing could slow me down I Had my hands right on the wheel I Still remember how it feels It was good and it was real No, nothing could slow me down my mama showed me something, said not to walk away Said in those moments, that's when you know how much you can take Got in some crazy messes, but then we celebrate Could reminisce forever Those were the days, yeah Those were the days, yeah This year has been full of highs and lows. The Eastlake community was deeply affected after the passing of one of our own, Sam Roos. Sam reminded us how to truly live life to the fullest and that everyone matters. On top of the loss of Sam, we had to give up a huge chunk of the year due to COVID-19. But even with these tough times, Eastlake has been able to persevere and come together to share some incredible moments. If we are intentional about this response, we can get a benefit from it. The thrill of it will take us department has done a great job keeping publicly active to give our students a database where we feel connected and cared for. We wanted the Wolves in Action crew to give one final message for the year. Dearest Miss Hill, I hope this email finds you healthy in these unique and challenging times. <laughs> I'm writing to inform you that I have submitted my one note assignment that was marked missing. I take full accountability for being un unorganized. I understand that you are busy and overwhelmed, so when you have a moment, I would greatly appreciate it if you could update my Skyward. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting us and working hard during this distant learning. I hope to see you soon. Stay safe and healthy. Sincerely, your student, first period. <laughs> Dear Mr. Tullum, my mother is being quite annoyed, but I understand why. You're a failure, 
if you have an F in golf. <laughs> so, if there is anything else I can do, please let me know. Yo, Millet, why didn't you put in my weight work yet? I turned it in 10 minutes ago. Hey, Lindell. My dad got called from school saying I need to check in with you. I turned in all my assignments for last week. Do I need to email you on a weekly basis or what? <laughs> Dear Mr. Snell, I completed all of the missing weekly activity charts on OneNote, including next week as well. Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> Mr. Gibson will never <laughs> The test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready, start. 138. stressed out I am over science. I'm working so hard to keep my grade above a 90%. A 90%? Haven't you heard about COVID-A? All you need is a 60. I've been cruising at a 65 for the last three weeks. I'm passing the class. Every class? Every a class. A 60%? <laughs> Every class. My mom has been lying to me this entire time. <laughs> Ten, ten. Time for some lunch. <laughs> to breakfast already? <laughs> What's up, wolves? Before, we used to have assemblies inside. After, outside! Time to get hyped for your 2020 moving up assembly. This side, you go! This side, you're wolf! Go! 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 Maybe it's not as fun just being by myself, but I heard TikTok is. Get it go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Our first staff speaker of the day is Miss Devadal. Miss Devadal is an incredible teacher that is constantly working to support and care for her students. Anyone that has her as a teacher knows how lucky they are to get to know her mother like character and her kind personality. Here is her message to send us off into our next endeavors. Hi, class of 2020. It's Miss Devadal. You walked into my classroom in 2016 and you made me better. I remember how we started the year in Ninth Honors with a novel about a global pandemic and how strange that detail strikes me now. I remember your faces walking in the morning of the election, asking questions, seeking to understand. I remember following the Paris climate meetings with you and having our own mock climate simulation in class. I remember you choosing and developing your LTI topics and writing your call to action. You walked into my classroom again in 2018 and we studied rhetoric and you learned the power of your words. We talked about the crisis at the Southern border, the Mueller report, the possible withdrawal from the Paris Climate Accords. You walked through the Traveling History Museum and you thought about how to phrase that tough question of Delbert Richardson and then listened, really listened to the answer. In my classes, you asked me questions all the time that I didn't know how to answer. You asked hard questions about democracy in America and demographics and voting, uh, immigration policy. You asked me, why is it this way? Your questions made me question the kind of teacher I wanted to be. And your questions made me a better teacher. 
and not just your questions, but what you did. I watched you spike volleyballs. I've watched you sing and dance in Urine Town and My Fair Lady, Act and Antigone. I've seen you program robots to deliver balls, gears. So more than your questions, your actions have impacted me. I've seen you work on robots, fixing and changing and problem solving right up through the very end, focusing on what you'll do to make it better. I remember you walking into my room, being so moved by the story of Ishmael Bay and A Long Way Gone that you had to do something and wanting to start a club, the UNICEF club, to make it better. I remember you responding to your poster being torn down and organizing the Trans Day of Remembrance. I remember you saying, this isn't right. How do I change it? What do I do? And you made me want to be a better teacher for you. This year, we saw each other in the halls and at the assemblies. We checked in and then the pause. Everything paused. And at the end of the day, that Wednesday, we all went home and we didn't come back. And you all lost something. Every one of you lost something. There were all kinds of things that you were going to do. You were going to fix the robot before the next competition. You were going to perform in puffs. I saw that awesome puppet. You were going to run in your final track and field season. You were choosing your dress and your tux for prom. You were going to sing at Carnegie Hall. You were going to hold your racket, your bat, your golf club. Every one of you lost something. Mourn that loss. Mourn what you are going to do. But it makes me wonder, what are you going to do now? We look out right now at society and we see the pandemic that has closed everything down. We see our economy. We see uprisings and protests pushing for a reckoning of this nation's history and our present of systemic racism, demanding change. It's a lot and it's hard. And when this all opens up, that is the world that you are going to go back into. And I don't know what it will look like, but I do know that you asked me questions and you made me a better teacher. You saw a problem and you pushed to fix it. You saw a need and you raised money. You pushed past loss and defeat to be in the winning alliance at Glacier Peak. You stood up and you said LGBTQ students matter at EHS. So when I think of you, I will remember your impact on Eastlake. You've experienced loss along the way. It's no stranger to you. There are so many moments that have shifted your world. What I will remember is your response, the community that you built, the way you made others feel, and the way you made me feel. Take that and remember that and celebrate that. Now, you'll move into an even bigger community to impact. Go out and make the world better, just like you made Eastlake better, just like you made me better. I'm proud to have been a part of these four years at Eastlake with you. And I love you all in a teacher appropriate way. Over this past year, we've had many sports that have been able to complete and finish their season. We also have others that have been denied the opportunity to represent their school and do what they love most. Today, we are here to honor the competitors, performers, and athletes. Continuing with our celebrations, we'd like to start off with dance and cheer. Our cheer team this year was able to compete in state, winning second in traditional and fifth in game day, with our lovely seniors, Delia D'Astasio, Emma Downs, Maddie Hunt, Maddie Morrison, Anna Parchman, Emma Chereba, and Ben Vlastalika. Up next is our 2020 dance team with seniors Jenna Raymond, Serena Hyatt, Logan Kahn, Bella Viamonte, Skylar King, Swathi Kumar, Maddie Thomas, Maria Kachatova, Maeve Lannon, Meg Peterson, Malia Snyder, Julia Kirkwood, and Taylor Phillips. Before our closure, they were able to have three regular season competitions with having every routine be in the top three. At their last competition, their palm was the top score of the day. <laughs> Following up our Eastlake traditions, we'd like to present the ABC Awards. This is the first set of them. Next up, we have this year's Senior ABC Awards. For most adventures, we have Thomas McElfresh and Anna Aigleby. Best bud goes to Audrey Craig and Alex Dupie, along with Carson Davis and Jackson Lynch. 
For cutest couple, we have Marley Johnson and Slater Hyde, along with Anna Shade and Jack Miller. Daredevil goes to Ethan Fennick and Carlos DeVorce. For best eyes, we have Maddie Pudis and Petra Siebold. Most flirtatious goes to Elise Seneker and Carter Schlepp. For most gullible, we have Andre Marino and Sydney Hansen. Best hair, we have Delia Distasio and Johnny Alexis. No matter how long or short your time is here at Eastlake, we want to take a moment to recognize each staff member that is on to a new journey this coming school year. Hi, my name is Kate and I'm here to talk to you today about Mrs. Harrell. Mrs. Harrell is a teacher in the transition room at Eastlake and also a big part of Unified Club, which is where I got to work with her. Even though I was never a peer tutor or in one of her classes, I would always come into her classroom and she'd always greet me with a huge smile. I'm forever thankful for her kindness towards me and every other student at Eastlake. Mrs. Hurrell worked to make Eastlake a more welcoming and inclusive community, and I'm so appreciative of her because of that. One of my favorite memories of Mrs. Hurrell was at our Unified Robotics competition in Seattle, where one of our robots somehow made it into the semifinals. Everyone was so happy, and we were all just cheering each other on. Mrs. Hurrell made Unified Club feel like one big family, and I'm so sad to say goodbye to her. Her impact on Eastlake will not be forgotten, and I'm forever grateful for her for changing my life. Thank you so much for everything, Ms. Harrell. We are going to miss you. What's up, Riri? Just want to say thank you for everything you did for me this year. Um, helping me be full games and everything else was super impactful, and I wouldn't be um, able to play probably if it wasn't for you. Um, and also, like, all the Saturdays where you just went out of your way and helped us out and went for the guys and you went above and beyond for us, which was really awesome of you. Um, and I loved our talks with you, me, and Drew, where we uh, did a little bit of harassing, maybe just a wee bit. But um, no matter what, you're always there for us, and you wanted the best for us. And when I hurt my shoulder um, in the Skyline game, you really, like sat down and talked to me like it, um, an adult, and it was really cool because I saw how much you truly cared for us. But anyways, I just want to say thank you so much for everything you did for us this year. The impact that Sarah has had on my life is absolutely incredible and words could never begin to describe it. I started my cheer journey with Sarah and we ended it together. She is the most amazing person. I've never met someone with such a big heart who cares so much about everyone that she meets. No matter what it was, uh, school, cheer, family, she was always there and she knows pretty much anything there is to know about me. Um, I just felt so safe talking to her. She's the sweetest person ever. My favorite memories with Sarah are just laughing with her. So many times, if I told every single memory that I have with Sarah, it would take probably 30 minutes of videos. Um, but she never stopped laughing, never stopped making me smile. She's so funny, she's so caring, and I'm going to miss her. I can't even describe how much I'm going to miss her. She's an incredible person, and Sarah, I love you so much, and I'm like literally crying thinking about it. I love you so much. You're the most amazing person ever. And Eastlake was so lucky to have you. Hi, I'm Hope. And right now I have the chance to talk about Miss Asante. When I first met Asante after she stepped in as a new yearbook teacher last year, she undoubtedly scared me. And I definitely would not have thought that I'd be the one giving the speech right now. But after many midday and after school talks over the last year, Mrs. Asante has become my go-to person whenever I needed an opinion or just wanted a laugh. She was one of the first people I told when I got into college and was always there to talk about life or even the latest episodes in a TV show. Although she's intimidating at first, Mrs. Asante is one of the most genuine, kind-hearted teachers I've ever met. The positively chaotic energy whenever you step into her classroom is exactly the reason why I always made sure to go to her class, even if her fifth period yearbook class was the first class I had been to that day. And after being able to TA for her this last quarter, I've noticed that Mrs. Asante not only is clearly very passionate about what she teaches, she goes out of her way to make connections with all her students and even students she doesn't even have um, and just randomly walk into her classroom. Despite her hate for the rain and Seattle weather, she never seems to fail to make each and every one of her students feel special. I am truly in awe of the type of person Mrs. Asante is, and I'm truly so thankful for all she's taught me in this short year. Um, and I've never met a teacher with more enthusiasm and excitement to teach and make connections with all her students. 
and I'm sad to think that Eastlake will no longer have her anymore, but I'm really glad more students will get the chance to know her. So Natalie, I hope you, Mr. Asante, and your diabetic cat Pumpkin enjoy the sun next year in Texas. Thank you for everything. <laughs>
come to all of our school sporting events and support our school. And she was a great co-worker with Ms. Nelson and she just worked well with all of the other teachers and she helped the students very much. And I think that she had a good impact because although she was only here for half a year, um, she was involved in our sports and she uh, she liked to know what sports and she went to like our games, like our soccer games for Eastlake. And I know she went to a lot of football games just to support because a lot of her students were athletes. Coming up on our celebrations list, we have boys lacrosse, girls tennis, and girls badminton. And our amazing boys lacrosse was not able to make their two-peat a uh, three-peat this year, but I'm sure they would have. And big shout out to Adam for representing the seniors. Moving on to girls tennis, thank you to our seniors, Andreas Dinescu, Stella LeClaire, and Rebecca Goldfarb for all of your hard work. And to the team, your captain wants to say thanks for the strong competition and friendship. She hopes the team continues to be strong. Good job, you guys. First up, we have badminton. Thank you so much to our seniors. This year, we had Aaron Kim, Grace Curtis, Courtney Heidorn, Greer Chang, Kathy G, and Hanan Ralph. Next up, I would like to introduce a student speaker who has truly left their mark on Eastlake. She has radiated generosity and kindness throughout the whole school. So it is my pleasure to introduce Jenna Raymond. Hey everybody, my name is Jenna, and for those who don't know me, you might recognize my voice from the awkwardly loud Good Morning Eastlake that you'd hear on the announcements every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm missing all your lovely selves walking through the front doors, saying good morning and giving hugs, or in passing in our packed hallways. I know you have heard it a thousand times, but it really sucks not being able to finish out the year as we all hoped. Everyone lost something when school closed, whether that be a competition, starting a season, finishing your memory jars, shout out to 3D Art, or simply, walking through the hallways one final time. No matter your grade, we'd all have something we lost, and that sucks. It is completely okay to acknowledge the pain and hurt you may feel. And turning on the news or scrolling through TikTok, the world seems chaotic. It is a lot to take in and process, so it is completely okay not to feel okay. These past few months have in no way been easy. We faced immense pain, loss, and hurt. I know I've certainly changed a ton, and I'm hoping that it's for the better. Especially in this last week, the world has uncovered new strides for change, not only in gathering in the streets, but coming together as a community, whether online or in person. We're all fighting for positive change and to correct injustice. Each of us has turned a new chapter, one that was sudden and completely unexpected. I encourage you all to harness each emotion you feel and use it to push you in a positive direction. I know each and every one of you carries strength and grace. You all are important and carry purpose. We each have our own unique attributes that give us our strength and our will. I'm not gonna tell you the cliche that we are all gonna change the world someday because that's not what matters. What matters is that you leave people better than you found them, that you are living a life that you are proud of. There is no one right way to live. There is no one right way to do anything. There are inevitable mistakes, but that is where we learn and where we grow. We cannot be afraid to learn because without it, no one would get very far. We all have the capacity to leave our marks on the little moments in life because you never know how your actions or words will affect others, which is a scary thought. Everything we do has consequences and it is up to us to determine whether or not these consequences are good. I can confidently say that Eastlake has left a permanent mark on me. The idea of Eastlake isn't about walking through those front doors or even the school itself. Eastlake is about the people within it. We created the culture, we built the relationships, we learned and together we grew. Each of you created the mark that has been left on me. And for that, I wanna thank you. Not being in the classroom was hard, but I still felt constant connection between friends, classmates, teachers, and peers. That is all thanks to the support system we've created for one another. One that I don't think we appreciate enough. That is what this school is and what I'm truly going to miss. While not all aspects are perfect, it is a community where I feel safe to be myself and work towards growth. But boy, do I have a lot of growing to do. I really wish I could be looking at all your faces right now rather than talking through a screen. I genuinely hope that you use this time to reflect, engage in the tough conversations, and educate yourself on the world around you. The direction of change is in our hands. That doesn't mean we will single-handedly change the world. It is the little victories that will inevitably push us all in the right direction. So with that, I say goodbye, be safe, and I love you all.
And now for our fourth round of celebrations, here we are at recognizing HOSA, baseball, and track and field. Next up, we have our fantastic baseball team with our seniors, Tate Crawford, Calvin Kirchhoff, Carson Davis, Carter Jensen, Garrett Carney, Elston Miller, and Trent Green. Nice job, guys. HOSA competed in their leadership conference this past March. Awesome job to those who qualified, and special shout out to our senior officers, Liza Velozin, Sarah Deutscher, and Aparna Kuchibala. Your hard work and dedication is amazing. For track, Coach Poole has some things he would like to say about the awesome participants. The class of 2020 has been one of the most successful track and field programs in East Lake history. While it's unfortunate that we didn't get to compete and see them finish out their senior years this year, it still doesn't detract from all the lessons they've learned, all the success they've had, and all the fun and friendship that they've made over the years. From all the coaches at East Lake Track and Field, we just want to say thank you. Thank you to the seniors who were out for all four years. Thank you to the ones who came out this year and we only got to spend a couple weeks with. We look forward to connecting with you in the future, and we really appreciate you honoring us with your time while you were track and field athletes. With our final set, we'd like to present R through Z. First up, we have Rambunctious. Congratulations to Caroline Johnson and Trevin Berry. Next up, we have Spontaneous. Congratulations, Max Rutherford and Hannah Sumrall. Congratulations to these two talented people, Ian Frank and Sophie Cashman. Next up, we have Unique. This is a good pair. Congratulations to Tommy Phillips and Mikey Phillips. Next letter is V for Vibrant. Congratulations to William Halbert and Spencer Boyer. Alrighty, moving on to winner in this category. Congratulations to Grady Robison and Keely Burton. All right, our next category is just out of this world. For extraterrestrial, congratulations to Ryan Sutter and Kira Kajowski. This almost concludes our awards today in the youthful category. Congratulations to Ashley Dunn and Hope Muller. And last but not least, today for our ABC Awards, we have Zesty. Congratulations to Jalen Bright and Charlie Curley. Also, congratulations to the entire senior class. We love you and good luck. Continuing our celebrations, here's a little bit about DECA, boys soccer, and girls lacrosse. Special congrats to our nine honor societies this year. We have more people inducted than ever before. Thank you to our officers and advisors of each one of these groups. We admire your dedication to the academics. Up next is DECA. Thank you so much to our senior officers, Matthew Lee, Nicole Kim, Jack Pendleton, and Laura Wang. And right before our closure in March, they were able to qualify many students for our international conference. Nice job, guys. Thank you to everyone on boys soccer for your hard work this year and past ones. Awesome job to our seniors, Cole Davis, Josh Dion, Max Luna, Marcus Bias, Thomas McElfresh, Josh Sun, Vanya Panamarev, David Moffitt, and Jackson Lynch. We're all super excited to see where you go next year. For all the athletes on the screen, your dedication to the sport is admirable. It takes a lot of work to get to where you are, and each one of you is going to do amazing things next year. Thank you for the impact you've had at Eastlake, and good luck. Here are our final goodbyes to some of our incredible PAC members. So I have Mr. Pitt for uh, Engineering 1 this year, and he's probably like the nicest teacher I've ever had. He's super understanding, compromising, things going on in your life in other classes. Um, also, he's like just super cool to talk to. He and I talk about video games with some of my friends. Uh, he's honestly just super nice all the time. He offers help. He's not my AP Physics teacher, but like if he ever sees me working on it, then he always offers his help. And he's always just like looking out for his students and I know I couldn't finish the year with Mr. Pitt but honestly one of the nicest people I've ever met nicest teachers I've ever had so thank you Mr. Pitt. Hello he's like my name is Josh Dion and I'll be speaking about Mr. Strom. Strom and I have a bit of a different relationship. 
I've never had the pleasure of having him as my teacher, but I did get to have him as a coach. Mr. Strong coached my soccer team for the last two years. On the field, he pushed my teammates and I extremely hard. He coached us to a very successful two seasons where we placed highly in many tournaments and, a, and won a state championship back in February. Whenever we made a mistake, he always made sure to tell us, but Strom would never just yell. He would always use it as a teachable moment where we would walk away knowing what to do in the next situation. Off the field, Mr. Strom always helped develop me as a player and a human being. After a tough loss or a great win, he would always offer insight to what I could be doing better. At Eastlake, I always saw him in the hallways. He would greet anyone that walked by with a huge smile. He was always positive and friendly whenever I talked to him at school. What I'll miss most about Mr. Strom is his compassion toward others. Whenever I was going through a tough time, whether it was school-related, family-related, or even an injury, he would always be there to offer love and support. So, Strom, I'm so incredibly thankful to have gotten to know you these past two years. Thank, thank you for everything you have done for myself, your students, and our school. You will be missed immensely, and congratulations on your retirement. Hi, I'm Audrey, and I have the honor to talk about Ms. Haskin, known to many as Nellie, a crucial member of our Humanities Department. I had the privilege of having her as my AP Lang teacher last year. I've never been a huge fan of language arts and history, but Ms. Haskin always made sure to make learning as painless and enjoyable for all her students. More importantly, she knew that this class was more than just time to learn how to write a rhetorical analysis essay, but time to build meaningful relationships and be a support system to all her students. Beyond being a phenomenal teacher, Ms. Haskin is an incredibly kind and genuine human being that cares so much about others. She has a great sense of humor and knows how to laugh and enjoy any time together. She always makes time to talk to her students and check in even when we interrupt her planning period time. And I'm always truly in awe of her constant patience dealing with freshmen and her great choice of clothing. Ms. Haskin constantly has made me and others feel appreciated and valued, not only as students, but as people. Not seeing her on the daily, let alone when I visit at Eastlake, makes me so sad, but I look forward to seeing what's ahead for her and her family in Portland. Nellie, I'm incredibly grateful that my four years here at Eastlake have been yours as well, and I've been able to learn so much from you as a student and as a person. You have truly made an incredible impact here at Eastlake as both a teacher and a coach. For me, you have become more than just my teacher, but a role model and a mentor as well. The Eastlake community has been so blessed to have you as part of our family, and you will be incredibly missed. I've been lucky enough to know Miss Singh since I was a freshman. She's always been really supportive of me and pushed me to go forward and swim, yes, but more so on a personal level. Um, she inspires me by seeking to be supportive. She's always starting conversations with students in the halls before or after school, asking how we're doing, what we're up to, and she really makes Eastlake a better place. Miss Singh is the, to me, Miss Singh is the definition of a role model, and she always works really hard to build people up. I always know I can talk to Miss Singh. Um, sophomore year, I missed a lot of school for an illness, and when I came back to Eastlake, one of the first people that I saw was Miss Singh, and she sought me out, talked to me, asked me how I was doing, and her support at that critical time had a huge impact on me, and still does to this day. We are sad to see her go. And we are very grateful for the time that she's been here. And even after she leaves, um, I think that her impact on students will continue to develop as they grow because of her support while she was here. So thank you, Miss Singh. Hi, I'm Russell, and um, my staff member is Miss Duarte, and she's a counselor who actually came from um, Oregon, Portland. I don't remember which college off the top of my head, but she could probably answer that. Um, uh, and yeah, so my favorite memory was probably when on the last day of this thing we did, it was like a uh, a group for uh, grades, and um, on the last day we did a Quizlet, and we did a bunch of random Quizlets or cahoots, and we had a lot of fun, which I really enjoyed. Um, 
I appreciate that she really cares for the students and looks out for them, asks how they are, checks in regularly. Um, what I miss about Miss Duarte is probably her jokes. She'd make a lot of jokes and um, it's kind of nice to have that sense of humor lightening things up. Made things a little easier. For our last set of celebrations, here we are recognizing band, orchestra, girls fast pitch, and girls golf. Congratulations to band for getting second, making it the first time ever placing at Sam Days. That's incredible. Also, amazing work to the 27 students who were sent to the district honor band. You guys are all amazing. Good job. Next up, we have our incredibly talented orchestra. While I would have loved to see the things you had planned before the closure, we are positive your virtual concert on the 13th will be spectacular. You guys are all amazing students and incredible at music. Next up, we have our incredible fast pitch. Once again, congrats on King Co last year, and to our seniors, Belle de Oliveira, Ashton Roberts, Cameron Snyder, Taylor Druin, and Ashley Buhner, thank you for the amazing work you've put into the sport the past few years. We wish you luck to everyone continuing to play next year. Next, we have our lady golfers with our seniors, Bella Panay, Hope Mueller, and Megan Erasmus. To finish up our celebrations today, we want to honor our amazing students who receive scholarships nationally and locally. Every person there is incredibly special and completely deserve their awards. We are so lucky to have had you guys as Wolves. Hey guys, this is this year's senior melody. We obviously couldn't perform it live, so this is the best we could do. We had a lot of fun making it, so thank you and I hope you enjoy. We want to thank Ben Allwright for helping us mix audio and sound um, and everyone else who is a part of it. Um, sing along if you know the lyrics. This is We Are Young. Give me a second, I, I need to get my story straight. My friends are in the bathroom getting f***er than the Empire State. My lover, she is waiting for me. Just across the bar, my seat's been taken by some sunglasses, asking about a scar, and I know I gave it to you months ago.
bar closes and you feel like falling down, I'll carry you home. Our next speaker embodies the Wolf Strong Pack Strong spirit of East Lake High School. He is your activities coordinator, leadership advisor, and he has been named the 2019-2020 Kinko Coach of the Year for his dedicated and purposeful work inside of the East Lake football program. Here now is Mr. Don Bartell. For those of you who do not know, this is the garage at my house. It's also where I've been since March, recording videos and sending them out to students uh, in an effort for us all to try to get something of benefit from this crazy experience that we've endured. So I thought it was appropriate that I end up back here today doing the exact same thing one last time. Um, not just for us as a whole, but also especially for that class of 2020 for you seniors that are about to graduate. Because what I've been hearing for the last few weeks is, this is so strange. I know the year is ending, but it doesn't feel like it is. I need some form of closure. And so we're gonna address that idea today. Before we do that though, I wanna make sure that we understand kind of how we got here. Well, seven years ago, we started talking about developing a school culture by design and not by default. So a bunch of kids from Eastlake got together in a room by themselves, no adults, and said, how are we going to do this? And what they came up with was a statement of belief, a credo, if you will, that basically said that we are going to address three legitimate universal needs that people have in an effort to make sure we're living up to our school motto. The credo was simple, that through intentional actions, we can create an environment where students and staff feel safe, feel appreciated, and feel loved. Now, the reason they did that was because they knew the backbone of what we were doing was this idea of Wolf Strong, Pack Strong, personal development in the service of others. In essence, Eastlake has always been this super unique place. I saw it when I arrived here for the first time in 2005. It was just different here. And what we didn't want to do is squash individuality. We wanted to push people to develop their talents and become the best that they could be because we knew that if they did that, we'd be better as a school. Now, the way that you do that was really what we needed to understand. People will thrive in situations where they feel safe, they feel appreciated for who they are, and they feel loved. So that's what those kids push for. Now, fast forward, and what you've been doing, seniors, for the last four years is living that credo, living that motto, understanding that idea of what WISPUS is. You get to be you. Do you, but do it with us, right? And we're going to celebrate you. Now, I know it's high school. It doesn't always work out that way. So let's take a look at what we're searching for right now, and it's that idea of closure. If we know that we have the best of intentions, but it doesn't always work out that way, then let's talk about how we get closure. It's to look back at those intentions. It's to look honestly and objectively back at those actions and those experiences and evaluate what was it that we did that benefited us and others? What was it that worked and didn't? And what are we going to take with us from those experiences into the rest of the world, into the rest of our lives from here on out? And simple. If we look at it objectively, we know. We put a cap on it and we go. But it's tough being objective. It's difficult being honest. Trust me, I know. As a teacher, 25 years almost in this business, I can tell you that my perspective has been honed down to two things. I feel like I have an immediate job and a long-term job. My immediate job is how do I get you to be fully functional in this space for four years while you're here? How do I make it the greatest experience that you can have so that when you're done, you will have had an opportunity to grow and thrive? At the same time, there's a longevity to this, which says, uh, also, those principles that make you successful right now are going to be expanded so that you can take those same principles with you into the rest of your life and not only make yourself successful, but benefit other people because of it. 
so that we're not wasting any time that you go, oh, well, everything I learned in school was just to make me good at a GPA or to score high on a standardized test or to flourish in my APs. And the reality is that's not what any of it is. And you're witnessing that right now. The people who have invested in those sorts of things solely and only are the ones that are struggling right now the most because none of those things keep you warm at night during the COVID closure. It's really about investing in relationships and people and experiences and developing yourself so that you feel good about where you're at. Look back over the last few years and ask yourselves, what are those moments for you? What can you grab from those moments, stick them in your pockets, carry those with you and put a lid on the rest of that stuff, file it back and say, I know what I went through. This is who I am now and this is who I want to be and I'm on my way. An old saying about that. If we want that, then you have to do this like crazy right now. And that's all I'm saying. You know who you want to be. You know who you are. If those are accurate, then you know what to do next. Your teachers have provided those things for you. Your friends have helped. Your parents have helped. And now this experience that you've had in high school at Eastlake has also hopefully helped. Because what we're seeing right now is, a, is the real difference in experience in the American high school. You're going to go away next year, a lot of you, and you're going to meet people that absolutely despised high school. And the number one reason why is because there was no intentionality behind their experience. Because a lot of people wait, like I did, until the last semester of their senior year, and now I'm really going to make something of it. Or I'm really going to make something of it now that we're on top. And what's been encouraged this entire time that you've been here is for you to make the most of every moment. And what you're experiencing now is, yeah, frustration and yes, sadness and yes, disappointment. And you can feel cheated and robbed and all those other things. But the angriest people are the ones who waited. And now we're left with no opportunity whatsoever inside the building to expand on those experiences. But you didn't do that. You've been through four years of intentional experiences. And what we have now is where you are now. You know everything you need to know. You have those life lessons, those experiences. Now you just need to expand on them. Look back at them. What did they mean to you? What did you like about it? What did you not like? What are you going to change the next time? Because that's what closure is. It's reflection. Know where you're coming from. Know with what you're carrying with you. And I'm going to tell you, whether you understood that or not at the time, what you're carrying with you is this understanding that people, all people want the same things. Regardless of where they live, what they look like or what they do, everybody wants the same thing. They want love and acceptance and safety so they can thrive and feel like life is theirs, something they can capitalize on, make the most of. And you also understand the value of being useful. And it's all in the credo. And it's all in that idea of personal development in the service of others. It's through intentional actions. You can create an environment where people feel safe, feel appreciated, and loved. This is Eastlake. This is home. This is family. Wolf strong, pack strong. You already know everything you need to know. Now let's go do it. And remember this. Eastlake will never be the building that we occupied. It will always be the spirit of people who made it what it was while we were there. I love you. Best of luck to the class of 2020. You guys are amazing. We'll always have this crazy shared experience, but let's not stop there. The world is in need of great change and you are going to be great change agents. I love you. We would like to end this year's Movie Up Assembly with the Senior Slideshow. Sit back and enjoy the memories. A year from now, we'll all be gone All our friends will move away And they're going to better places But our friends will be gone away Nothing is as it has been and I miss your face like hell And I guess it's just as well But I miss your face like hell
头。哦哦哦哦。Been talking about the way things change. And my If you don't know what to make of this, then we will not relate. So if you don't know what to make of this, then we will not relate. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind, hanging on a shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos of memories and their skin on trial. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. But in the end, it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. It's something unpredictable. But in the end, it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. With that being said, we've all experienced one crazy year. To the class of 2020, thank you for sticking with us and finishing out strong. We, we love, love you all. Let's go! Go!